Hello, this is part two of my UVK tutorial series. I'm going to go to UVK system repair. In UVK system repair you can run a program, open a file or folder, and open network and internet locations. Once you browse and selected the path to the file you want to run, click run open. You can also select to delete the history. UVK stores at least 15 previously used commands. You can click delete history to start a new list. In the fix and protect the file extensions, you can select which type of extension you want to fix and click fix file extension. And this is very useful for when viruses change the extension on a file or program. You can password protect extensions preventing viruses from changing them. And you can also unlock the extensions to remove password protection. Under other tools and extensions and enable and run drop down menu, you can select what tool you want to open to manage your system. This list includes registry editor, task manager, the command prompt, event viewer, and a whole lot more. All the tools useful to collect information and manage your system. In the toggle enable disable drop down menu you have some options to toggle the state of some Windows features. The menu includes administrator user accounts, autoplay function, USB disk write protection, you can enable or disable the screensaver and a lot more. Below you can choose the fixes you want to run. You can hold the control button on the keyboard and select numerous fixes. You can also choose to run in unattended mode. And I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. And I'm going to go to system info. System info will show critical information about your computer and operating system. This includes the total amount of RAM and how much is being used, computer model, device info, and more. You can have UVK export the information to an HTML file. And I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. And I'm going to go to the automatic anti-malware scans. This is one of my favorite sections. In this section there are a total of five antiviruses. Malwarebytes, Super Anti-Spyware, Hitman Pro, Kapersky's TDSS Killer, which is a rootkit scanner, and there's also Combo Fix. Now Combo Fix is a very powerful tool. Use this with caution and create a restore point before scanning with it. Once you've selected scan options for each antivirus, you click Start Scans and UVK will start up the malware bytes. It'll begin to update, scan and remove infections and it will then move down to Super Anti Spyware and do the same and it'll keep running down the list until all scans are complete. You can also run UVK system repair scripts. Like Combo Fix, use this with caution. If you click Repair Script Options, you'll get a list of scripts to choose from. Once you've selected the scripts, save and close and then click Start Scan. And I'm going to go back to the Welcome screen. And I'm going to go to UVK Options. In the UVK Options, you can choose the Password Protect UVK, show the UVK Context menu, you can create logs with a .uvk file, create a desktop icon, auto update UVK, and show tool tips. Once selections are made, click Save Settings. In other options, you can view UVK command line help, create UVK command scripts, cancel check system drive on reboot. This is if you have check this scheduled, this will cancel it. Cancel reset user defaults on reboot. Check for updates now and report a bug or send a comment. And if you need more help, there are several help buttons located within UVK. And that concludes the UVK tutorial series. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.